welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. We've got an awesome Thanksgiving haul for you guys. I went to a new Trader Joe's. It's not new, but I hardly ever go to it and they had everything I could ever want there. So I got some really good stuff to share with you guys and there will be a Thanksgiving taste test video this Friday. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into this haul, you guys. First step over here, grab some more of the organic garlic non-crackers. These are my family's favorite crackers. And we've got some cheeses and salami, so I needed to get some crackers to go with that. So we picked that up. This is one of my son and daughter's favorite allergy-friendly cookies they have there. This is the soft bake sunflower butter cookies with roasted sunflower seeds. These are vegan and gluten-free. They came out a few months ago, and my kids really enjoy these ones. So I picked that up for them. I needed some hot Italian sausage for a dinner this week, so we got that, as well as some bacon. So I like this one. This one is the no sugar dry rubbed uncured bacon. I've never tried Trader Joe's um, shelf stable pizza sauce. I've tried like their fresh one, so I wanted to pick this up to give it a try. It has really good ingredients. I also grabbed some organic garbanzo beans. I think I'm gonna make some homemade hummus, so I wanted to pick that up. And finally, they have this hot sauce back in stock, you guys. I don't know if you guys have been looking for it, but I have been looking for it for a few months now, and it's been gone. And I went today, and my store finally had it back in stock. So this is the organic spicy taco sauce. It tastes just like Taco Bell hot sauce. It's really good. I love this for obviously tacos. We're going to be doing tacos this week too. So perfect timing. And I finally found this. This was new, um, I think a month or two ago, and I've never been able to find it. Like I said, this Trader Joe's had everything that I've been looking for. This is the organic smoky barbecue coconut aminos. So it's a seasoning sauce and this is gluten-free, which is perfect. Uh, that's what we like to cook with. I usually cook with tamari or coconut amino. So this one's the smoky barbecue barbecue flavor. I'm really excited to give this one a try. And then I needed some more hand soap and I've never seen this one before. So I've decided to pick this one up. This one is the French liquid soap. It's orange blossom and honey. And it's, um, it also has vitamin E in it as well too. So this sounded really cool. I'll have to let, report back and let you know what the smell is. Um, but I'm hoping it, it's going to leave my hands nice and soft with that vitamin E. Over here is just pretty much a weekly staple around here. I grabbed the Grapefruit Bellini, the Love Olivia Peach Wine, and this one is the Cranberry Secco. These are my three favorites, so I picked that up. We're gonna be going to a pumpkin carving party with like some mom friends of mine. We're gonna let the kids carve pumpkins, so I'm gonna bring a couple of these for us moms. And then over here, I needed some sour cream, so we picked that up. This is new, and I haven't been able to find it at the Trader Joe's I normally go to, but they had it at this one. This one is the Borzen Dairy-Free Garlic and Herbs um, Cheese Spread. This is so perfect. I'm really excited to give this one a try. We're gonna put this one in the taste test video because the Borzen cheese is so good, so I'm really curious if the dairy-free version is gonna live up to that. And to pair with that as well, the truffle salami is back. We have never tried this before, so really excited for that. Let me know if you want this one in the taste test video or not. Here is a brand new item. This is the turkey sausage stuffing fried rice. So it's with fried rice, vegetables, breadcrumbs, and turkey sausage. It sounds good, so this for sure will be in the taste test video. Let's turn it around for you guys. Those are the nutrition facts. And here are the ingredients. So it does contain milk and wheat. So yeah, excited to try that. That looks really good. I'm all about any type of fried rice. So delicious. I grabbed some organic butter uh, lettuce over here, as well as the Harvest Apple Salad Kit. I have been seeing so many people recommend this salad kit. They say it's absolutely delicious. I've never tried it before. Let me know in this uh, if there's anything you guys see here that you want me to taste in the taste test video. Let me know down below. I'll be filming the taste test video a couple hours after this video goes live. So let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, this is a spring mix with unexpected cheddar cheese, apple cinnamon chips, pecans with an apple vinaigrette. So, I mean, it sounds really good. So I'm excited to dig into that. Uh, we got some plain mini bagels and that's why I got the pizza sauce. I'm gonna be doing mini bagel uh, pizzas with this. Corn tortillas for tacos, like I said. And you guys, the mini marshmallows are officially back. I grabbed two bags and I'll probably be grabbing two bags the whole time because I need to stock up. These are gluten-free, they're vegan, and they are the best marshmallows I have ever tried. I love them so much. So I wanna stock up year round because it just, I cannot find marshmallows that are any better than this throughout the year. And they're only here during the holiday season. So, so excited that the mini marshmallows are back. 
we are gonna be pairing that with the hot chocolate. Our family loves hot chocolate. I've never had this one before. This is the organic hot cocoa mix. It comes with 10 envelopes. You can just add water. I'm sure you could use milk as well too. And then let me share with you guys um, the ingredients on here. Those are the ingredients on um, the hot chocolate. So I wish there was no natural flavor, um, but I mean hot chocolate's a special treat. So we grabbed that as well as the gluten-free stuffy mix. This one's really good. We had this one last year. And of course they have the traditional stuffy mix as well too if you guys are not gluten-free. And then over here, um, this one is a new wine that I have never tried before. It sounds really good, Ghost Vine. Red blend with spices added. So I thought this was perfect for Halloween. You know what, I think this is the one that I'm gonna bring for the pumpkin carving little get together that I'm gonna go to. So I think this one will be perfect. And let me share with you guys, it is a sweet wine, which is what I prefer. And this one is 12% alcohol. So really excited to try this one. And then over here, Oh, let me know, is this a new item or not? I could not decide. I have never seen it before, so I decided to pick it up because it sounds good and this will be in the taste test video. This one is the pumpkin cobbler with a buttery pecan crumble. That sounds really good. So pumpkin is just not for pie. Introducing the pumpkin cobbler, yummy spice pumpkin filling beneath a layer of buttery streusel and crunchy pecans. It's perfectly spoonable for the most delicious fall flavor. This sounds really good. Anything with crumble on top, Sounds like I'm gonna like it. So that one for sure will be in the taste test video. We've got the Simple Times Lager Beer. I grabbed this um, last week for the first time for Brent and he really enjoyed it. So I did pick up the larger one this time. This one comes with 12 cans and it's such a good price. And then this is brand new. This is the Basalmic Glazed Bone-In Beef Short Ribs. So they're fully cooked bone-in beef short ribs in a basalmic and garlic onion glaze. That sounds so good. I love basalmic, garlic, and onion. Oh my gosh, so good. I almost fell over though when I realized how much this was. <laughs> it is expensive. So here are the instructions. You can put it in the oven or you can do a stove top and boil. I'm just gonna be putting this in the oven and this will be in the taste test video. And here are the nutrition facts with the ingredients. 20 grams of protein, not too bad. And this package was $29.85, so definitely on the pricier side. So just wanted to throw that out there because I was shocked. Most things aren't that expensive here at Trader Joe's. And then I picked up some of the fried onion pieces, perfect for green bean casserole this Thanksgiving. And on to another new item. This is the 12 cranberry orange bars. Sounds interesting, not sure how I'm gonna feel about this, but you guys will see how we like them in the taste test. Let's turn it around. Those are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. So it contains milk, egg, and wheat on that. We've got another new item that this one sounds really good. This one is the green bean casserole bite. So it's flaky phyllo cups with a green bean casserole filling and topped with crispy fried onion piece. Sounds so good. This was in the frozen section. So let's turn it around. Here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients on that does contain milk and wheat. So for sure, really excited to dig into those. And then these next two items, let me know, do you want both of them in the taste test video, one or the other, let me know. So we've got the four cheese scalloped potatoes. These are in the fresh section. They are refrigerated. They have a frozen version as well. I've tried the frozen version and I wasn't a huge fan of that. So that's why I grabbed this one this year to try. This one is the thinly sliced potatoes in a creamy sauce with Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and provolone cheese. I mean, it sounds really good. So hoping that this one's better than the frozen one. And this one sounded good too, so I picked this one up. This one is the roasted cauliflower and orzo. So it's with four cheeses, sun-dried tomatoes, and kale topped with panko breadcrumbs. Doesn't that sound really good? So I'm really curious to see how this one's gonna taste. So let me know what you guys wanna see in the taste test video. I also picked up this cereal. This one is the maple pecan cluster cereal, a blend of oat pecan clusters, corn flakes, and multigrain flakes. So I don't think we've ever tried the maple pecan one before, but it sounds really good. Like I'm all about maple right now, so that's why I picked that up. These ghost bats are so cute for the kids. They're just a plain crispy potato chip, but they're in the shape of ghosts and they're cute. And I've been liking packing them in the kids' lunches, so they've been enjoying that. I just needed one lemon over here and I got some banana for the kids for the week. 
So you guys, that is everything. I'm so excited for this taste test video to dig into all the Thanksgiving foods. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for the taste test video. Bye.